Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another great edition of my Groove Room Show. And for the Groove Room Show today, <clears throat> I got a very awesome guest, and he's 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 a friend of mine, and it's Logan Allen. He has been in in Stranger Things and, and Creep Show, and that, and he he's one of the leading guys in Sweet Mag Magnolias. It's a it's a series on Netflix and we're going into season three now and he plays the role of Kyle. So we're going to talk to him all about sweet Magnolius and may maybe hear what season three has to offer us. I am Rocco Cross. As you could tell, I am the host at stutters. I am the host of the guru room and my interview with my, my, my buddy Lo. Logan Allen will be coming up very soon. This is my groom groom room, and as always, welcome to my nightmare. Stay tuned. Okay, Logan, welcome back to Groom, and thank you so much for coming on the show, buddy. Yeah, man. Uh, hey, I, I'm I'm. It's always a a great time when we come on here, bro. It's like my seventh time, and it's amazing. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, it, it's different from the Instagram lives we usually do. So this yeah, is, yeah. you know, this is something a little different. This is this is fun, man. I'm excited. Definitely, yeah, yeah. It, it probably has been like a like six or seven times. Like the, <laughs> I, the I should lives, I should yeah. rename it the low. Logan Allen show, right? There you go. There you go, man. I'll, 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 every week, baby, let's make it happen. Right? <laughs> so you're part of this huge show. It's coming out for season three. You got like a really huge fan base. And how loyal are the fans of the show to to you? Yeah, no, man. I mean, our, our fan base is incredible. Uh, you know, we've been, we were number one on Netflix with season one and season two. Uh, I think we're gonna get the same with season three. Uh, you know, they, 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 they're there every single, every single time that there's a release and, and also just like all the edits on TikTok and, and stuff like that, dude, it's, it's so cool. I'll be going through my for you page and I will <laughs> pop up with edits of me and edits of the show. And it's just, it's hilarious, man. So um so yeah no the fan base is great and and seeing you know where everybody's from and we have a i talked about this before but our fan base in brazil especially is huge oh really um so brazil's big uh italy's big so um it's just really cool seeing everybody you know around the world that can come together for one show that's about community you know what i mean and, and relationship and friendship so uh it's really cool to see people kind of come together on, on you know from all different kinds of cultures for one show it's 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 beautiful wow like it, it's definitely all over the world yeah, it's everywhere, man. Yeah, no, we were we were number one in a bunch of a bunch of countries as well. So it's 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 really cool to see that, man. I, I it's one of my favorite parts of of what I do. Oh man, that's so that's so cool. Yeah, man. And like going back to when when the show first was on season one, like everyone wanted to know who was the person in the car with Kyle. And when did you actually find out who was in there, and how did you re react when you found out who the person was? So they didn't tell any of the cast, bro. We were sitting there. We had all the fan base jumping on us. Yo, way, hey, who's in the car? You know who it is. You know who it is. Dude, I genuinely had zero idea. Like I, we, we would always have like the big group, you know, text and big group chat with all the, the cast. And we would always like throw out theories like, oh, no, you're in the car. You're in the car. You're not. And then uh, and yeah, we when I, we didn't really know until we got that that season two, episode one script um, a little bit, probably a couple of weeks before we started filming. Mm -hmm. Uh, so they, we didn't, we had zero idea, man. And I also, I waited until the table read, um, to actually, you know, read it with everybody and, oh. and figure out who it was. So, um, it was pretty crazy for sure. You know, th that, that whole anticipation was like the coolest thing in the world, man. Uh, and, and just hearing the fan base as well, man, go crazy. And also it sucked knowing for like a whole year that we could not say a word. That was like the toughest thing in the world because like when you don't, I, I would rather not know. You know what I mean? And I don't, I'm, I'm good with kind of keeping everything under wraps, but it's always in the back of your head when yeah. you're in interviews yeah. and we are talking to people, you know what I mean? And, and you don't want to say the wrong thing or, or push them in a certain direction. You know what I mean? You just want to like be as like just neutral as possible. <laughs> um, but no, it, it was cool. And, and I don't think any of us spoiled anything. So that's all, that's always a <laughs> Yeah. You that. don't, you don't want to be the tom holland of your series right i want to be the tom holland of <laughs> Netflix, man we don't want that happening <laughs> and, um, in season one and two like kyle goes through a lot of layers like mental 
mental health and how do you get into like a mind frame that a headspace to play those kind of scenes like those really emotional scenes so when it comes to emotional scenes and and you know when you're especially Kyle you know he he's dealing with a lot of of you know him being kind of the middle child and and yeah. him getting just you know kind of thrown off to the side um a lot of that, you know, you, you have to kind of draw from, from per your personal life and personal experiences because you don't want that. You don't want to, um, you know, you don't want to pretend, right? You want to really find these true emotions and bring them to screen. And the mm -hmm. only way to find those true emotions and bring them to screen is take real life experiences. Um, so that's kind of what you have to do, man. And, and you know, you have to get into this really, especially with some of those scenes, get into this, this deep, you know, dark place, um, excuse me, for a lot of that. And um it can definitely be hard at times, you know, just because I'm naturally just a very easygoing laid back person. Well, yeah, so kind of, yeah, to kind of, yeah. So to kind of get into that, man, it's, it's, it's tough. It's not easy. Um, but it's, it's always a, a really interesting, you know, mindset to get into. And, and, uh, and like you said, Kyle has, has uh, a lot of different, um, um, experiences regarding that, uh, throughout season one, two and in three, don't worry. He's, he's depressed to get in season three. He doesn't get a break. This poor kid. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> there, there, there's some, there's some, you know, uh, pretty, pretty crazy moments that, that goes on throughout the series and this character. So being able to, to, to play that has been fun. And then also seeing all the different emotions built up on one another is really cool. Like, um, in season two specifically was probably mm -hmm. my favorite to play him. Uh, just because he, you know, when it, when it came to the more emotional stuff, because he was dealing with the guilt, yeah. you know, uh, he, he was just super depressed on top of that. Um, he wasn't really being heard. Uh, you know, he felt like he was, you know, he let everybody down. Um, there was just, there was so much going on with, with all his relationships and all the people in his life. Um, and it was just, it was really fun to play all those different emotions kind of coming to a head, you know what I mean? Him just going crazy on everybody was, was pretty wild. You know, me screaming at everybody for, for like six episodes. Um, yeah, no, man, it's, it, it's always really fun to play this character and, and, uh, in season three specifically, like I said, there's a lot more of those scenes that, that, uh, that get, that get pretty deep. Well, well, yeah. Cause like, like you said, you're a real easy going guy and soft spoke spoke and i can't see you like going out in the street and screaming at somebody <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah no it, and that's what that's what acting's about you know what i mean kind of getting that out you know what i'm saying kind of <laughs> kind of kind of you know letting those emotions that you kind of keep inside and, and kind of bring it to the front so so yeah just kind of taking real life experiences and and real life emotions and then putting it into a character is is what's really really fun and and can definitely be a pretty interesting experience oh definitely yes yeah. and I had to it like when Kyle had to wear that cast, like how difficult was it to move around on set for your scenes with with the cast on your foot? So Netflix did a really good job of making it comfortable, you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, as comfortable as they can make it for me. Uh, <laughs> I, I remember I, I was so, so when I was on set, there was like an actual cast mold, by the way. I went to an actual doctor. They oh did my the God. mold. Uh, I have pictures on my Instagram. Uh, and if, if everybody listening and watching, you guys can go check that out. I'll, I'll put it somewhere on my Instagram uh, highlights or something. And I went to an actual doctor in Atlanta. They did the mold and they cut like a little thing in the back so I could like slide it on kind of. And the cast is actually right here beside me. I still oh, nice. have it to this day. It's still nice. there, man. It still smells terrible. And it's sitting right <laughs> over there. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, no, I went to the place. They, they you know, uh, they cut the back and so I could slide it on. But the, the worst part was they had to wrap it up. Mm -hmm. So you had like the actual green wrap over the mold itself to make it look like, you know, cause that's what you put over the cast. Yeah. Um, and they, they would have to, you know, do the drawing on the, so, so basically what happened was there's like, Hey, you know, for every scene at the end of it, you can take it off and we'll okay. just rewrap it for the next scene. Bad thing about that is an episode, two episodes in, they started doing names. It's like the signatures on the cast. Oh. They, had, like, they had Kyle on it. You know, they had, uh, um, uh, Katie, Ty, you know, uh, Annie, I believe, was on it. Like all these different names in the, of the characters in the show, so they would have to write it the exact same way in the exact same place every time. And I was like, just to make it easier for you guys, we'll stick it through for the whole day. So for pretty much the whole day of filming on those days, I'd, I'd keep it on and okay. keep it wrapped, so they wouldn't have to take it on because it took like five, ten minutes to wrap it up and then do all the names and stuff. So I was like, My there's God. no reason for all that. We'll just you know stick it out. So mobility was definitely limited definitely limited uh i needed uh the, the crutches a little bit so those yeah. crutches in the actual scenes they're props but i needed them uh and then the wheelchair and stuff as well but it was just it was wow. funny it kind of also kept me in character you know i felt like i was christian bale or something <laughs> yeah, exactly yeah <laughs> yeah, so, cool. 
So like when you had the castle on, like you didn't they you didn't dance to music on set or anything, right? Oh, I still dance, man. Don't worry <laughs> about that. I, I was still getting down. Uh, but no, definitely was, you know, I, I, I was limited on some of the stuff I could do, you know what I mean? But I was still trying to do the Dougie and I, I, I tried, I tried to get it, bro. I tried, but it, it probably didn't look too pretty. <laughs> hey, you can, you could start a new trend, like the cast dance or something. Right? <laughs> a new dance. Hey man, post that on TikTok, bro. It'll get, it'll get viral. I should, I should have done that. Man. Right. right. Exactly. Yeah. Just opportunity, bro. Where were you? Kyle's, Kyle's cast, on, you should have reached out. Dance. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> and the fans seem to love Kyle and Tyler's and you and Carson look look like you formed like this really great bond on set, off set. Like I even saw like the pictures and videos, you and him at the gym and stuff. And and how how was it like forming a bond with Carson? He's a great guy. He's a really cool dude. Um yeah, I, I've been wanting to see him. Uh, I've been wanting to meet up with him recently. Uh, but yeah, he also just announced that he's going to be a dad, which is crazy. Oh, that that's dude awesome. is old. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but no, Carson's great, man. He, he's yeah, we would always hit the gym up and stuff. He's, he's so, so talented, really sweet guy. And and um, one thing that I, I hate about him is he got me into golf. Uh, oh. I hate that. He got me addicted to it. And now that's what I spent a lot of my money on. So thanks, Carson. <laughs> uh but no he, he's, he's a really sweet dude very like i said one of the most talented like overall talented people i know most talented people he, he can act he can sing he, he can do all these things i don't know if he can dance so i don't know if we ever want to see that but uh but no he, he really is a really talented and sweet guy um and um and yeah i i hope i get to do some more stuff with the man he's he's always fun to be around nice nice i hope we don't see him dance yeah <laughs> <laughs> and um Season season two, we saw like a lot of Kyle and Cal, Cal and how how fun was it filming with Justin? Bro, Justin Bruning, bro. What a guy. Uh, he has, bro, he's literally a 15 year old boy <laughs> in a man's body. Uh, he like just his personality, man. He is just so funny. There's never a dull moment. Mm -hmm. Why this guy hasn't done more comedies. I don't get it. Like he, he, he's just a naturally funny person and, and he could definitely do uh, some comedies. And I'm surprised to, I, I need to actually talk, of, talk to him about that and say, bro, you got to be the next Jim Carrey, man. Come on. You know, he, he really is a very sweet guy. Um, very talented. Uh, and, and just overall, just a, there's never a dull moment. Cause like when you're on set, they can't ever find him because he's always talking to <laughs> crew members and extras and he's all over the place. They got to kind of keep him. You know, he, he like needs like somebody buy him, you know what I mean? Cause he's always disappearing, talking to people. So there it tells you, you know, who he is, you know, he loves just interacting with people and having conversations and, and he's, I got to hang out with him uh, off a of set a little bit as well. This past season. He's, he's, he's a cool dude. He's a really cool. Guy. Oh, sweet man. Nice. Yeah. And you know, for, both seasons i mean because we aren't on season three yet it's coming soon but not but not yet but what what have you like like most about playing kyle um just the 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 emotional range of the character i think is is probably my favorite you know he he like i said is is you know gets a lot of those heavy emotional scenes but then obviously uh you know he can be kind of a ladies man sometimes you know what i mean and then he could be he's kind of what's the the you know the uh the comedic relief at some points um so it's it's been a very you know fun and 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 exciting character to play because you just never know what to expect from him, and I think uh, I think season three is probably the the, the best example of that. Actually, uh, there's a oh, lot nice. of funny moments with them. There's a lot of sad moments with them. Uh, there, there's a lot of really uh, heavy you know relationship stuff going on with them. So oh, uh, right. yeah, yeah. So I I think I think people are really going to enjoy the character and 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 what comes out of this season and and. Uh, yeah, this is definitely some of the most fun I've had uh, playing him when it comes to the, the the range of the emotions of the character. So it's, it's it's been pretty fun, man. Wow. And, you know, I noticed like you've been going going to the gym a lot more and you put on put on size. And does that affect like Kyle at all? Like to, to see this muscled up Kyle coming on this <laughs> I'm a, I'm a very small guy. Uh, I don't think we got to worry about that, man. Uh, no, I'm, uh, I luckily, you know, when it comes to me lifting weights and stuff, like I'm, 
I know people that lift weights and just have the craziest diet in the world. Yeah. And they just get huge. <laughs> I really, I've gotten more defined, but I haven't really well, gotten yeah. big. So, uh, you know, hopefully I don't show up one day, you know, looking like the rock, uh, that's not going to happen. Don't worry. I'm still going to be the little, the little Kyle we all know and love. Um, but no, yeah, I just been gone for fun and just to kind of also like helps out with anxiety a lot. You know, yeah, uh, it, it's, it's, I mean, yeah, you, you know about that. It's just, it's yeah. good to get in there and just get some relief, you know? Um, so yeah, you know, it's, it, it shouldn't affect anything too, too much. I've been, you know, I, I've been watching it, so we, we should be good <laughs> there. But the one thing I have been having a lot of fun with in the gym, dude, is the sauna. I I've, go to the sauna I've been seeing you posting like a lot a lot of a lot of videos from there <laughs> he's like oh, we're it a lot we know yeah no <laughs> yeah I, man. I mean i don't know if you're trying to do a thirst trap or not but <laughs> <laughs> whenever the likes go down you know what i mean you, you got to get the, the the content back up um but no yeah i dude I, I love going to the sauna so carson also is someone who got me into that he was like really? he'd, he'd this dude's like a big analytical health guy. So he like just dropped all the stats for me. It was like, okay, so uh, this percentage is this and, and kind of brought it off for me. And I was like, dude, you're actually okay. You're hundred percent right. So uh, we started going to the saunas um, up there in, in, in the gyms up there in Atlanta and, and I fell in love with it. And, and uh, those saunas over like 160, bro, the sauna here where I'm from is like 240. Oh, oh my god are you like, serious it is hot no it's bad dude so like I, i'm probably in there for maybe like maybe 15 minutes is what i usually Wait, go for about 15 15 minutes in that yeah oh it ain't god. fun it sucks yeah it, it ain't fun but like but you feel i don't know you you, you just you feel good after you know what oh, i yeah. mean and uh it's, just, it's gonna kind of sweat all that stuff degrees. oh yeah no it, it's terrible it's terrible uh Wait, do, but, they uh, have, but, do they have but, one of the gym workers walking by in case you pass out <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, they'd be giving out free water in there, man. You know what I mean? Uh, but no, yeah, it's cool. I've, I, one thing I haven't done is the steam sauna. That one's like the dry sauna or whatever. Yeah, I know yeah. people like the steam one as well. I don't know the difference and how that like affects anything, but uh, but no, like health wise though, I, yeah, I definitely recommend the sauna. It 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 nice. really helps out with your health. It's it's like I think if you if you go like it's like uh, if you go five times a week um, or something like that, it, it, it drops your risk of like cardiovascular disease by like 50 to 60 percent. Really? So it's it's a big difference. So it's good to get in there and and uh, and, and sweat a little bit, you know. Oh, OK. I, I I never knew that. That's that that's actually really, really good to know because my my gym actually has a, a sauna and after i'm done my work i get lazy i'm like i don't feel like sitting in there i'm going <laughs> home but now now that i know that though i probably will <laughs> yeah hey start doing it man just you know I, I, like today was leg day for me when i when i'm done with leg day i'm going home you know <laughs> but but uh but it's always fun to go into and go to sauna after some of the other ones <laughs> do you do you follow any kind of like strict diet when you're when you're in like gym mode or sauna mode no, I, I just try to eat as healthy as I can and drink as much water as I can. You know, okay. I, I like, that's the thing. Like I, I, I eat, I don't say I eat what I want to eat, but like those diets that have like zero sugar and, and like those crazy ones, I could never do that, dude. Like when we're on set doing sweet magnolias, let's talk about that, bro. Yes. Season three, I went crazy on the Uncrustables, man. They have the, un <laughs> like, they have like, I think like 10 Uncrustables a day at the, the crafty. Bro, you have to go there right in the morning, bro, because really? everybody goes straight to the grape. <laughs> are you serious so i've had to eat the strawberry ones a few times i'm not gonna lie i'm not the biggest fan of them but what was pretty cool dude big shout out to the crafty bro they would they would hold an uncrustable for me on the side no so i would that's fly awesome. through and they, they, they'd pass it to me i'm like man i love y'all so big shout out to them but no yeah man on set oh dude the incredible like just the food overall oh you, you you can't really eat fully healthy on set man you just can't everything's presented to you you know yeah definitely definitely yeah <laughs> No, sets have awesome catering. Uh, I, I mean, I don't. I'm not like I. Don't, I don't act, or I'm not an actor, but I. I was in like the background for like Creed one and two, and and Sylvester Stallone. Like the stuff he had out on the set was like incredible, and and it, it didn't matter if you were a background or or someone that was on screen. Like you, everyone ate the same thing, and it was yeah. it was nuts. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe the sets are like this <laughs> that's dope man yeah the, the, the food is what makes it worth it for sure that 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 right that alone is is, is the best part of the job <laughs> oh my god yes <laughs> and was there any funny or cool stories from from the set from either season one two or three 
not any that I haven't really told before uh, okay. and that are spoiler free. That That's the thing. Um, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, there, there's some funny things in season three um, that if I said it would be a pretty big spoiler. So gotcha. Uh, gotcha. We'll, we'll we'll say that and and we'll we'll talk about it next time. But when the, when the show releases, uh, but the, there are some really funny moments because I think season three, man, is probably the funniest season of Sweet Magnolias yet. Oh, really? I really do. I I was I mean th- this especially like I'll tell you my favorite episode. My favorite episode is episode three. Okay. I love episode three. Uh, okay. I think it's it's hilarious. I think it's really fun and exciting. I think people are really going to enjoy it. And then, uh, and, and yeah, just overall the whole season, it, there's a lot of funny stuff. But I think that one of the funniest things is, is um, I, I said this story quite a bit, but uh, when I was filming with, with Justin uh, Bruning, um, who plays Cal, and mm-hmm. season two, when we had the whole scene where like, you know, um, uh, we're walking down the, the aisle in the uh, hospital uh, or the hall. And he kind of stops and tells me about his backstory about how he got in a motorcycle accident and stuff. Yeah. And he like puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Hey man, you know, I forgot what it, whatever he says. I thought uh, like of into the spider verse when he goes, Hey, and every single take man, it, it took everything <laughs> in me to hold in the laugh, bro. And I remember the final, when they did his coverage, man, I, I couldn't hold it in. And that man was a trooper because I cracked a little grin every <laughs> single time. And, it was, and of course, when I said it to him, he was like, why would you say that to me? <laughs> now that's what I'm going to be thinking. of. But, yeah, no, th- there's there's a lot of funny moments like that on set that um that, you know, are just it, when you get along with everybody so well, like the mm-hmm. Sweet Magnolias ca- cast does, you just it, you, it's just it's a fun time. You have so many great moments like that. Awesome. Awesome. And you and your friend Braden, you guys have a pod podcast, too. Like, can how did how, how did that all start? Yeah, no, uh, me and Brain, we, we have a few things in development for sure. Uh, yeah, the podcast, um, I don't know, we just always wanted to do one. And and I think everybody has a podcast now. So we're like, why not us? You know, we'll just, we'll, we'll go in. It's called Actors POV. It's on Spotify and YouTube. Um, if you go to my Instagram, you'll see it on there. And uh, and yeah, we're going to go to some more platforms like Apple, uh, Apple Podcasts and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but yeah, no, we just kind of talk about, movies we we rank franchises uh we talk about acting news or that's like one of our segments where we talk about stuff going on in the industry and we just like it's from the actor's point of view you know what i mean um so it's kind of you know uh we're a little educational as well when it comes to how to get an agent you know how to do a good self-tape uh stuff like that so it's, it's pretty educational for people kind of wanting to come up in the industry as well so yeah actors pov it's on spotify and youtube definitely go check it out uh we actually uh we release a new episode every monday and uh and i don't know when this is gonna release uh, uh for you uh but we're doing indiana jones uh this nice. week uh, so we're really excited to dive into that man some harrison ford we love that harrison ford yeah like the guy the guy still is doing his thing like that's amazing he's like 70 <laughs> right or is he 80 i don't know what he is but he's he's still you know he's still out here man fighting the nazis you know it's 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 wild <laughs> it's yeah, awesome and also with Braden, like you guys are doing a short horror film and i know you're a big horror guy so have to have what inspired you to make a horror short yeah man so um you know i, I think we whenever an actor isn't necessarily working or has a job you know what i mean just kind of staying busy in in, in the industry in some ways is always important and and uh, I've always wanted to, to bring my vision to, to the screen and get behind the camera a little mm-hmm. bit. And that's kind of what we do here. Uh, me and, and one of my best buds, Braden, um, we just were like, dude, what are we waiting on? Let's just do it. So uh, we, excuse me, we based it off of a, a horror video game called Phasmophobia. Uh, you guys okay, can get it on yeah. Steam. It's so much fun. It's like a yeah. ghost hunting thing. And uh, we wanted to kind of, it's not exactly like that. We brought in, of course, a lot of our own, you know, story and, and characters and stuff. And, but it's kind of based the overall premise off that. And uh, it's a ghost hunting, like 10 minute short. Uh, and we're going to put it into some festivals and uh, eventually release it on the YouTube. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, it's Logan Allen. Um, you know, we'll, we'll post some more stuff and keep some more uh, updates on there uh, for you guys to all check out. But no, we're really excited about it. Uh, I think it's going to be really fun. Uh, me and Braden uh, co-directed, co-wrote, and we're Star both in the film as actors. <laughs> so yeah, this is our little baby, man. So we're editing it right now, which is so much fun. 
uh, <laughs> with as much sarcasm as I can say it. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're all know how much fun that could be. Yeah, no, editing is, oh, it's, it's crazy, but we're getting through it. Uh, but no, it's, it's all fun, fun part of the process and we're, we're getting through it and uh, it'll be out in these next few months. So we're very excited. And it, is the crowd, crowd, crowd funding still up for that or is that over? Yeah. Yeah, you guys can go check it out. Um, I, I should have it on my Instagram. You guys can go ahead and, and go support the film there. Uh, you know, we so we can kind of do more marketing and and put some more money into it. Uh, we're in post production now, so it wouldn't really affect the production value of it. But when it comes to editing and and yeah. you know, special effects and music, uh, which is very important when it comes to horror, as you know, uh, you know, it, it can definitely help out a little bit. So you guys can go check that out as well on my Instagram. So sweet, buddy. Well. I want to thank you so much for taking time and doing this. It, it, it's always cool talking, talking to you. And you know, you know, what's, what's funny. I just, out of all the times that we talked and did interviews and talked outside the interviews, this is the first time I ever asked you about sweet mag magnolia. It's like all of our interviews ha happen to go straight to horror. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Every time I see the Chucky stuff in the back and the crow, man, I, that's what I get into. You know what I mean? I enter that mode. You know what I'm saying? You can't take me out of it. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> well, again, buddy, thank thank you for doing this and always a fun, always a fun time talking, talking to you. Yeah, no, thanks for having me on, everybody. Uh go check out Sweet Magnolia season three, July 20th on Netflix, baby. It's gonna be great. There you go. Have a good night, bud. Yep, you too, man. Okay.